Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm, I'm Nick Lippis. I'm one of the co-founders over at ONUG, the Open Networking Users Group. We host conferences twice a year called the AI Networking Summit. So hope you all can be there. I was really lucky enough to be able to attend Arista's Analyst Day, Investor Day. So I just wanted to kind of share with you a few thoughts, you know, um, that I left with. Um, first, great basket of innovation um, that they just unleashed. I haven't really sat through one of those kinds of um, days in a while from Arista, so I was really pleasantly surprised as to a lot of the hard work that they've been putting into the products and how they're moving networking forward, especially for the AI era. So. I wanted to focus maybe on just a few things that really caught my attention. One was um, what they're doing around collecting state data uh, all across um, their infrastructure, and that's with kind of a new product called NetDI. So NetDI, as I understand it, um, is essentially provides the uh, telemetry, you know, for a data lake of a lot of state data uh, from all the various different switches. So in one space, you can have a good understanding of the current state of the network, right? This link is up, that link is down, CPU is high, CPU is low, memory is like really good, so forth and so on. So you have a good state data. And then that's really super important. Um, but then how do you use that? And then I thought what they introduced was AVA, which is basically an AI agent that you can interact with and talk to. And so it can look into that state data. So you can start actually having communications with that data uh, in order to understand maybe there might be a performance issue someplace within the network. Maybe there's a device that's kind of gone rogue, or maybe there's some flapping going on. Uh, but you can actually now um, have a whole 360 view of the infrastructure from that state data. And now you have an agent that can um, collaborate with the NOC team uh, in order to either resolve issues or to uh, plan for maybe a new infrastructure that's about to be deployed or a new applications but about to be deployed. So I thought that was an amazing new tool um, that, that Arista um, has offered. And I think it's one of the key things, not just for Arista, but for the industry as well, because there's a, been a lot of work around Sonic, and Sonic is, is a great technology. It's, you know, it's been here for a long time. The, the hyperscalers have really proved it out, and now it's moving into the large enterprise. I think having tools like that are extremely important in how do you manage that infrastructure. And I think um, Arista recognized that, and so they introduced kind of the, uh, the blue box product line. So uh, you can kind of utilize various different operating systems and different chipsets. So you have a lot of options and choices there, but now you have the ability to kind of manage that professionally, a set of tools that, that have been proven. So I thought the blue box was also another, another great addition. They've been really in the middle of the AI networking build out that's, um, that we're essentially really in the building of or in the beginning of. So there is the whole uh, back end uh, network to that, and that's where you connect all the GPUs. And that's a two tier architecture. And they pioneered that a long time ago, good, what, 12, 14 years or so uh, ago. Um, so a, a non blocking cloth you know, fabric to connect the GPUs. They've also been spearheading a lot of the work. That's all happening over at the Ultra Ethernet uh, Consortium, which has just recently in introduced its uh, first spec that adds um, security, congestion management, and a few other uh, really important features that are really going to uh, help out that whole uh, back end. Then there's a scale up, and the scale up is really within a chassis. I thought what they're doing there was really interesting as well. So liquid cooling uh, to you know uh, conserve uh, energy and cool those switches down, and also uh, relying upon the new Tomahawk chipset, the Ultra chipset uh, from Broadcom. So ultra ultra low latency and those chipsets and really great power management. The one thing too that I was really impressed with yesterday is their discussion of the front end. So the front end provides a couple of different purposes. You know, so you have this big AI kind of GPU cluster uh, in a data center, and then how does the rest of the world connect into that? And that's the front end part of the network. So what's really important, especially as we move into the agentic world, is that inference is fundamental to agentic because all those agents are going to be relying upon uh, inference engines. And it could be scattered all over the place, agents and then querying and interacting with various different inference engines. So the actually front end of this uh, infrastructure 
need some special attention, special features uh, around congestion management, you know, bandwidth, latency, management. So they spent a good amount of time on the front end, and I was really, really pleased to see that. So I think those were some of the uh, the key things that I walked away with. Also an ambition uh, or an ambitious business plan uh, to move the company up to uh, $10 billion in, I think, uh, the end of next year or the year after, I think within a two-year time frame. So um, great gross margin. So the financial health of the company is, is solid. It's there. And like I said, a really good basket of innovation that was uh, announced yesterday. So anyway, I hope that was helpful to you all. Um, thank you. Thank you.